what is the duration of the contract? When you look at contracts, contracts are in two types. We have what we call a fixed term contract. Then we have what we call an open on what we call an indefinite contract. In this case, let us first look at what is a fixed term contract. Remember, when we are talking about a fixed term contract, it means you are working with your employer for an agreed duration of time in the contract. We shall not exceed what we call five years. Remember? However, it can be a renewable period if both parties get to agree. And in this type of the contract, what we call a fixed term contract, what you need to understand is that after the probation period stated in the contract, neither the worker nor the employee may indefinitely terminate the contract before, before its specified duration. That is what you need to understand. For the fixed time, fixed term contract, after serving the duration of what you call the probation period, you have no right to terminate the contract until when you complete what you call the specified duration or the time you agreed upon in the contract. Otherwise, if any of either party tends to do that, that means it is unlawfully termination, which gives the right to one person or to one entity, either that is the employee or the employer, to either compensate another party in case they get to unlawfully break the rules of that contract. Look at an example. Most of you don't know the kind of contracts that you came with. The people here, we came with, people came here with what we call five years contract, which we are called fixed term contract. But they do not know what was the problem, what was the type of the contract because of the hurry to sign the contract. So you find yourself in the fix that you've served yours, you've served the contract after two years. There's a big opportunity that is coming your table. But however, when you look at the ministry or when you look at one party, especially which we call the employer, will deny you to get another job because you are breaking the terms of the contract. That is where some of the problems or that's where some of the issues may come. So most of the times it is always advisable that look at, understand clearly. If you do not understand, not understand clearly read and understand the type of the contract that you are signing with that employer or with that company.